Okay, this is just a quick video to, to I'm upgrading in my motorhome uh, from just regular bulbs to uh, LED because as anyone that does any RVing or or motorhoming, whatever you want to call it, um, it's all about battery life when you don't have uh, power hookup. And a lot of things drain your battery even if you do are hooked up to power. Um, Usually when you're plugged in, that's usually running your refrigerator, AC, microwave, TV, outlets. But anytime you're running lights and stuff like that, at least it's my understanding from what I've looked into, um, that that's uh, still draining from the battery. And, you know, your battery is slowly, very slowly recharging while you're plugged in, but I don't think it offsets the usage. Um, but anyways, that's easily recoverable just by running your motor for a bit and stuff, but... Anyways, uh, going off on a tangent, but LED bulbs. Um, I have uh, I have a whole bunch, uh, 12 of these C921s. Those draw uh, 18 watts a piece, and I have uh, 12 bulbs in this motorhome that with that in it. Um, you know. One light has, I have two lights actually that have three of these in it. That's 54 watts. These LEDs draw, I believe it's around two a piece. So 54 versus six <laughs> from just one light. You know, it's pretty significant uh, when you start adding it up. Uh, if you have, uh, you know, I have 13 bulbs, you know, so, or I'm sorry, 12 bulbs. That's 260 watts versus 24 watts and then I have these over here this 1141s I got a reading light up in the by the bed and then out out in uh, one of the hatches for emptying your uh, gray and black water has two of those in it and uh, you know that's three bulbs of theirs again 18 watts 54 watts for those three lights versus six so as you can see you know the in the battery drain is going to be dropped pretty pretty significantly just from those and i'll show you uh what it looked like before and after in fact i got one of them all set up here well this this shot doesn't really this is a ceiling fixture and it has three bulbs in it um i've actually taken out two of the c921s left one in and then just put in a, a one of the leds if, if I had both LEDs in there, it just drowns out the C921. So I wanted you to see side by side what's going on there. You know, obviously the one on the bottom of your screen is the LED, and the one on the top left there is the, the C921 and the empty socket on the right. But it's pretty significant uh, light difference. When I had two in there, it just drowned out the remaining C921. They're pretty darn bright. And again, only using... I believe it's two or two point something watts. I don't have have that in front of me, but um, but again, I'll show you the bulbs here. You know, you got your original C at nine twenty one. It's just you know a plug in, and these look really weird. When I looked at them online, I thought to myself, I don't know about that. But you know, I got it, and it took a little bit of finesse to to plug it in. You know, not much. There wasn't any risk of damaging it or anything, I didn't feel. But I uh, plugged right in and worked. You know, that's the LED side, obviously, and that's the back side. Looks pretty high-tech. You know, and I got this box or bag of, I think it was uh, 20 for... I can't remember if these ones were $19.99 or $13.99, and the other ones was a the other one was a box of uh, box of twenty, I believe. Also, one of them they're both boxes of twenty. One of them was uh, thirteen, fourteen bucks. The other was nineteen, twenty bucks. And uh, so that's those. And then these are the other ones, the eleven forty one, and I believe it also is compatible with a uh, eleven thirty nine, and um, you know the the base. And where the pins line up for, for it popping in the socket is is uh, compatible. Um, and I'm sure somebody watching this could probably rattle off all the other compatibilities as well. I I just I didn't research it beyond what my needs were, you know. And then this is just your what they call the corn cob deal. And I'll demonstrate that one for you too, uh, so you can see the difference. And again, it's 18 watts to two point something, and uh, so battery savings. Okay, so one of your standard uh, lights here. 
um, with the 1141 in it with the cover on, with the cover off. With the cover off, with the cover on. So I went with uh, the white light. They do also offer, you know, kind of an amber, but it's uh, again 18 watts to two watts. You know, and again you can you can choose the the warm glow if you like. I don't know. I, sometimes that white can be a little harsh, kind of reminiscent of like having fluorescent lights. But you know, I, I use this light up here for. Uh, reading at night, you know, before I fall asleep or um, stuff like that. So so it's more than sufficient. And who knows, I, I may opt for, for the, the amber down the road. But just so you can at least see what that's like. And then I'll show you the ceiling fixtures before and after. Okay, so that's before with the old bulbs in there and the cover on. Old bulbs cover off. New bulbs in place. New bulbs cover off. It's actually pretty blinding to even just look right at it. And that's with the cover off still. I'll put the cover on and show you. New bulbs with the cover on. So, you know, it is, it is very, it's a very white light. As far as ambiance goes, I prefer the amber glow. Um, but you know, when, usually when you're turning lights on in the motor home, you need to see. <laughs> and I find that these, uh, tend to light things up a, a little more effectively. That was kind of the goal. I mean, before and in, in, up in the bed area, which is just, you know, forward of this light, that whole area is lit up up there. Before with the, the C921s in there, it was very dimly lit with the three bulbs using much more power and uh, so I think you know as far as having a effective light it's they're fantastic and of course battery life is is key when you don't have a uh, somewhere to plug in or you don't want to keep starting your your motor or running your generator or... so again those are the uh, the LEDs uh, for your your overhead light and the one for your for your uh, reading light up in the, the bed area. And they, they come in many different um, configurations and they, they're, they're becoming much more cost effective. They're still not giving them away, obviously. I think the, the ones I put in this fixture, it came to like a buck a piece, you know, but just the, the peace of mind and the battery life that I'll get out of it. Uh, every time I look at my battery meter from this point forward, just cumulatively, with the low power upgrades that I that I'm making, um, I'll, I'll feel validated for for doing that. So, anyways, uh, hopefully this was helpful to you. All right, so I uh, made a quick shot here of just uh, you know the, the cabin lit up with the old bulbs, and then I'll I'll do a shot with the, the new bulbs as well. Um, thought that might be useful, and as you can see, it's got a you know, kind of an amber glow and, you know, it's it's nice and cozy feeling and all of that, but um, we'll just see the difference and over time I may swap them out. But So here's the original bulbs and then just a second I'll show you the new ones. All right, and there's the, the new bulbs. Um, obvious difference in the amber versus the, the harsher white, but, um, and I may swap out to the amber over time. We'll see. You know, we, I, I had switched these out in another motor, uh, another camper in the past, and you know, at first, you know, when you're seeing them side by side, it's a, it's a adjustment. But over time, I kind of got used to it, and it was it was kind of nice in some situations to have that that brighter that brighter light. Um, but time will tell. Anyways, there's the two side by side with a little more of a view, other than just staring at the fixture. Well, anyway, those are the options that worked for me. And again, this was a box of 20. I actually double checked it, and this was a box of 20 of these. Um, I actually checked that as well. Um, you know, you, I'm sure you there there are many configurations out there, so you just gotta you know pull a bulb on yours and see what you got and Google it. Um, Amazon, of course, is always a good choice. Not like they need any additional marketing by me. Um, and I'm not loyal to these brands or anything on here either. It's just what happened to, to be a, a decent price and had a good, good reviews and 
and were compatible with what my needs were. So anyways, thanks for watching. Um, and if you liked it, uh, click on the like. Um, leave any comments or feedback you might have. It's always helpful for, uh, for other people, even if it's not a question for me, just, you know, thoughts or input for other people to, to read in the, in the future is always helpful. That's the, the goal is just to help people get some information. So thanks for watching.